When you go to your local mechanic, you probably expect to see a number of things, right? A lift, spare parts, and tools like wrenches or drills, etc. While a lot of that stuff will stay the same, there are some new additions coming to your local garage, and they're proving that the future of car repair is getting a little less greasy and a bit more geeky. The Raspberry Pi costs about 35 bucks and was designed to teach kids how to program. Pretty neat, right? It's cheap and versatile, and there are tons of ways to use a tiny custom computer in a car. Like, for example, tracking diagnostic data and performance statistics for more efficient DIY repairs and upgrades. Hooking up a computer to run a car's diagnostics is not a new idea. Uh, back in the good old days, people did it with laptops. When your car becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot, everything changes. Wireless software updates can correct running problems, improve fuel mileage, and address other performance or safety issues. Tesla Motors made waves with its Model S electric car, which can be updated wirelessly from home, similar to the way you'd update a smartphone or a computer. And so far, it seems to be working pretty well. Security, of course, is also a concern, because anything that is wireless has the potential to be hacked or tampered with, and it's no secret that the big mainstream automakers aren't willing to take as many risks as Tesla. But if this wireless communication proves to be reliable, then in the future it may become a lot more common. New cars feature complicated electronic or hybrid drivetrains, increasingly detailed computerized components, and a labyrinth of sensors. Uh, it can be tricky, or even dangerous, to work on some of these systems. So soon, auto technicians might sport headsets that guide mechanics through these visually enhanced displays and an app that can help the technician visualize areas that are out of reach or out of view. Volkswagen was among the first manufacturers to float this idea, and they introduced an interface called MARTA, which stands for Mobile Augmented Reality Technical Assistance, not the train system. And they made this for the upcoming VW XL1. 3D printing uses computers and other computerized components to recreate an existing object or to create an all new custom object of the user's design. This could be especially useful to repair older cars with hard to find or non-existent part supply. You know, you, just, you take out the thing that broke, you scan it, and then boom, your creepy future computer spits out this new thing. Though classic car enthusiast Jay Leno talked about using these techniques back in 2009, let's be honest, it's still out of reach for most people. Most high quality 3D printing systems are still incredibly expensive and they're large and they're tricky to use. So while car manufacturers can use this technology to create prototype parts and while insurance companies may one day recreate entire classic cars, average consumers are still gonna have to wait a while until reliable systems are affordable. And affordable systems are reliable. Making toys with a 3D printer, that's one thing, but the stakes are a bit higher if you're printing a set of brake calipers. And this is just the beginning. As these technologies progress, we will see more efficient, ubiquitous systems fundamentally changing the way mechanics work. And I'm interested, what do you think? Should cars be increasingly plugged into this cloud somewhere? Uh, what are the advantages? What are the pros and cons? What is your next car gonna be? A rolling computer? Let me know in the comments. And for more information, check out our article, Five Futuristic Auto Repair Technologies on HowStuffWorks.com.